If there is one couple in Hollywood who seems to always be embroiled in one drama or another, it's the Smiths. Yeah, you know it. From entanglements to slaps and rumors of being swingers, Will and Jada have managed to stay on top of the news circle. But this time, their drama has taken a whole new level because apparently, Jada is exposing Will and his gay boyfriend. I really didn't want to get married. Yes, you heard that right. Jada is publicly speaking on the record about Will's gay relationship and how it is affecting their marriage. But wait, is Will really gay? And if he is, why is Jada speaking up now after being married to Will for 25 years? Plus, how are their kids Jaden and Willow taking this shocking news? Okay, so for the longest time, Will and Jada seemed like the perfect couple. For one, their union was an attestation to black love and they were so successful in their careers. But then the cracks started to show and out of those cracks came a lot of mess and a lot of tea. We'll get to the tea. But first, a little backstory on this not so adorable couple. Okay, Will and Jada have been together now for over 25 years. They got married in 97 and have two kids together, Jaden and Willow. For a while, their marriage seemed perfect and they were the power couple of Hollywood. But for some reason, the last decade or so haven't been so palatable. And these two have gone from Hollywood sweethearts to becoming the butt of every joke. And Jada seems determined to set fire to the whole thing now that she's spilling more tea on their weird marriage. But how did they even get here? I'm going to backtrack a bit so y'all get the proper context. Will Smith didn't start out as the darling of Hollywood that he was until he slapped Chris Rock at the Oscars. No, before he was a rapper and his breakout role was playing a gay con artist role in the movie Six Degrees of Separation in 93. At that time, homophobia was still very much a thing, even in Hollywood, and he didn't want his breakout role to be about him being gay. So he made sure that in the scene where he was supposed to kiss another man, his co-star, Anthony Michael Hall, was removed after he agreed to take the role. And y'all know that Will went on to become the unproblematic, black straight man after he starred in The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. But if you ask me, a lot of actors who weren't gay in real life wouldn't have minded a little kiss. So it just seems kinda sus that Will minded so much. Even critics of the movie said that Will's acting was awkward, even though his screen presence was strong. Like this dude was afraid of tarnishing his image as a straight actor in Hollywood that he almost ruined a good thing. Later on, while Will reflected on the movie, he said it was very immature on my part. I was thinking, how are my friends in Philly gonna think about this? I wasn't emotionally stable enough to artistically commit to that aspect of the film. Now, it could either be that he really didn't want to damage his reputation as a straight actor in Hollywood and desperately wanted to be a star, or he was really afraid that fans, friends, and family would see him as he truly was and draw a parallel between his role in the movie and his real-life attraction to men. And then there are the rumors flying around about P. Diddy and Will. Now we all know about Diddy and how notorious he is when it comes to dating different baddies in Hollywood, from Cassie to Naomi and all that messiness with young Miami. But there's been talks that Diddy is on the DL. None of it has been confirmed, but y'all know there's no smoke without fire. Meanwhile, Diddy and Will have been said to be in some sort of entanglement, and the story is that Will and Diddy used and maybe still host wild parties that closeted Hollywood actors who don't want their sexuality exposed attend. And even Jaguar Wright came out with guns blazing when she said in a recent interview that Will and Jada weren't the perfect Hollywood couple and that their marriage was a sham calling it a front for their lifestyle, which included luring unsuspecting young men to having their fun with them. They're both bisexual, they do weird things in their house, and young men have left their house fucking screaming to get away from them and their mentorship. But Jaguar Wright isn't the only prominent person that has accused Will of being gay. Trans actress Alexis Arquette also did in 2016 after Will and Jada asked colleagues to boycott the Oscars. Alexis said in a since-deleted Facebook post, when Jada comes out as gay and her beard husband admits his first marriage ended when she walked in on him servicing his sugar daddy, Benny Mendina, then I'll listen to them. Now Will's first wife, Sharif Fletcher, yeah, surprise, surprise, Will was married before he and Jada got together. Anyway, Cherie countered Alexis' allegations in a video saying that Will did not cheat on her with a man or a woman and that her comments were very damaging. 
Uh, not only is it out of line, it's absolutely not true. Now, with that being said, there's been a lot of speculations about Will and Jada's open relationship. And one that has been often talked about over and over again is that Will wanted his marriage to Jada remain open because he wanted to enjoy the company of other men on the DL without any guilt, while presenting to the world that he was a straight actor and preserving his reputation as such. Which I should add, by the way, has won him big roles in Hollywood, and this situation has Jada pissed. Like, so pissed that she fumbled on Will with August Alsina just to get back at him. Like, the thing with August seemed so serious, but also so unnecessary. Even August was down bad, going on interviews and talking about the relationship he had with Jada like that was some prize. But then Jada just had to make a public show of the whole thing and gosh, the third hand embarrassment and the pain in Will's eyes. It was like he was being punished for something they didn't quite explain to their fans. And even though it seemed sincere, some fans have said that Will's response to the affair was very scripted. Anyway, they played their part so well that I'm never going to forget the other meaning of entanglement. And then y'all, there's the case of Tupac Shakur. And I'm just gonna say it, but the memory of Tupac has been this heavy cloud hanging over Jada and Will's marriage. And this isn't something that's just gossip. Like, it's the real deal. So real that Willow Smith once wrote a letter to Tupac when she was 13 and she wished that Tupac was alive so he could make her mom happy. In the letter, she wrote, Dear Tupac, can you please come back so mommy and me can be happy? I wish you were here. And I know that Jada and Tupac were really close back in the day, before his demise. But I'm just thinking of what could have gone so wrong that a child wanted her mom to be happy, but didn't think her father was in the right position to make that happen. Like, this is also messy, guys. And by the way, there was also the time that Jaden wanted to get emancipated when he was only 15 and Jada was like, okay, cool. Where you told me straight up, you were like, mom, I have to leave here to live my life. Totally. And I remember thinking to myself, as devastated as I was, I was like, he's right. Yeah. The time is now. He's 15. It's time for him to leave the house. And although there's a lot of context here, like Jaden asking to be free of his parents legally, and dare I say emotionally after the movie he and his dad featured in, After Earth, failed at the box office and Jaden was subjected to hate from fans, but I still can't wrap my head around the fact that Jada said it was okay, even though Will wasn't going to stand for that. No, he's like, I mean, my baby boy, he's never leaving me, ever. <laughs> <laughs> and it just makes me think not only of their parenting style, but about what could have gone so wrong with Jada's marriage to Will that she wanted the kids out of the house. And I'm not saying that this implies anything, but maybe it was because of Will's gay relationships. Anyway, Jada is finally exposing Will and his gay boyfriends, and she's saying that she never planned to go through with her wedding in the first place. You have to get married, so let's talk about the wedding knew I was like, I never wanted to be married. I, I don't remember that. I remember feeling very strongly and, and wanting you guys to be married. I do remember that. Yes. But I don't remember your rejection of the idea of marriage. I remember the rejection of the idea of a wedding. I didn't want a wedding either. She didn't want it, I was yeah. like, I don't want to get married. And now Gammy done gone to Will crying about, <laughs> I don't want to have a wedding. And now I'm being forced to have a wedding. Like Jada is literally saying that she never wanted to marry Will and wasn't in support of the wedding either. Which makes me remember how Will asked Jada out. So back in 94, Will and Jada met on the set of Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and she was auditioning to be Will's love interest on the show. But that part later went to Nia Long. But the two kept in touch and almost immediately he and Cherie's relationship hit the rocks. He called Jada and asked her if she was in any relationship at the moment and Jada said no. So Will just went like, cool, you're seeing me now. And I'll just say that maybe they were attracted to each other because they were alike. Like Will said he saw Jada on a different world and just knew that he had to meet her. And this was before they met on the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air set. Now fans have come out to state their stand on Will and Jada's marriage and his gay relationship. Like this user said, as long as they didn't sleep with them without it being consensual, why do we care? As long as everyone is happy and enjoying their journey, go for it. While another user said, Jada is blackmailing Will for all his gay secrets. This includes the relationship he had with Anthony. Furthermore, 
I think Jada had an open relationship with August to clap back at Will. He couldn't do anything about it because he knew that Jada could expose him just like that. The slap was also a pledge of allegiance to Jada and to show that he shall be loyal to her forever. Now, I don't know about loyalty, but I'm sure that Will and Jada's marriage and all the messiness it seems to come with will keep us entertained for a long time. I only wish them the best. Anyway, tell me what y'all think. Do you think Jada is cool with Will being allegedly gay? Or do you think their marriage will hit the rocks anytime soon? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section and I'll see y'all in my next video.